morning and welcome to AFP GTG. I'm Dr. Clue, your host. Right now I'm playing um, Bloody Human Freeway with a slight twist. I'm trying to see how many times I can get hit before the timer runs out. This is uh, one way of testing the, uh, the some of the things that Nuki Shea did to kind of clean it up a little bit. And I got to say, I'm really disappointed that it can only be hit 99 times before this thing times out. Check it out. Ah, man, look at that. Can't get any additional score now. So there we go. Yeah, might as well cross at least twice. There we go. <laughs> yeah, sometimes it's fun to play games in a way that's uh, not the original intention. Like, I used to have fun um, on the Atari 800, strafing the people I was supposed to be uh, rescuing and shoplifter. So, you know, uh, I know it sounds pretty bad, but it's pixels, okay? Come on. Let's get real. So there we go. Uh, 99 times, who knows how many times I actually got hit. So, hey, today we got some uh, pretty good stuff here to check out. So there was the cleanup on, um, like I say, Bloody Human Freeway. So that was pretty good. And we got a couple of other ones that have been introduced our way as well. So, um, for example, it was recently announced that Pixels was made available for uh, the um, Flashback Portable. And this one, I'm, it's kind of Pac-Man mixed with Berserk. And uh, you try not to be hit. You try not to hit the walls. And uh, this one's still growing on me, I'll admit. <laughs> it's, like, it's like make a game where everything can kill you. It's just awesome. And you try to kind of get off to the side here and um, hope that the walls don't close in on you. <laughs> Doesn't seem to be any scoring or anything like that. Just try to survive. Ah. Ouch. <laughs> it's actually a pretty good little game of dodge when you get right down to it. No! Ah. So, pretty fun. Check it out. I think it was, uh, of course, inspired from the movie Pixels, which, you know, it's kind of like Ghostbusters with a video game flair. I wanted to revisit just for a minute um, uh, Nuki Shea's um, final version of Star Raiders. You know, I was going through editing all the uh, AFP GTG episodes, and we did a lot of testing of the early Star Raiders and got it from a game where you couldn't select any functions to a game where it was fully playable. And the last thing we saw was the um, V blank problem. So let's just take a look at this. This is where we well, where Nuki actually learned about um, the V-blank v problem and how to fix it. And here it is. You can see the uh, status bar at the bottom and everything looks much better. Everything is uh, fully playable now. You can hyperspace, you can do other things. So, yeah, it's pretty nice. Really me right down to it. And let's see here. I hate how they just fly ahead of you like that. It's just so rude. <laughs> anyway, you can turn off the shield. You can turn off the attack computer. So it's a really nice game. So I wanted to show that. I, you know, after all the testing we did, we had three videos of testing and getting this to work. And I just thought it was appropriate to show the final result. So that was Star Raiders. All right, coming up next. Uh, yeah, Kevin Moss actually um, made a version of um, Double Dragon that he graphically enhanced. He said that his revision 3 didn't work. So what I'm doing is I'm pulling up first off the original Double Dragon. And I'm pretty good on the Lynx Double Dragon, but this one, <laughs> this is tough. I mean, <laughs> wow. But, 
Looks like the guy's got like a blue beret on or something. Look at that. Oh my gosh. Look at the bricks in the background. They're blue. And the characters are kind of this, I don't know. They look like they're wearing brown shirts or something. Like I said, I told you I wasn't very good at this one. <laughs> and I rock the Lynx version too. All right, so let's show what uh, this is revision four of what um, Kevin Moss has done. If I can find it, there we go. Love the color scheme. Color scheme's a lot better. And bricks in the background actually look like bricks. And these characters, they look closer to the actual characters. Look at that. That is so nice. All right. Come on, you. We're going down, man. Yeah. It's easier to tell what you're doing, too. <laughs> Take that punk. Just want to get to at least the next level. Next screen, at least. Come on. Come on, you're going down, man. You're going down. <sighs> Yay, I made it with one life. <laughs> so I just want to show what these guys look like. And I won't make it past them. <laughs> So well done, Kevin. Very well done. Mm. It will be worth actually getting to know this game. So there's that. Yeah, that's that's a great addition to the Atari Flashback Portable. So we've looked at Pixels. Oh, Palomino. This was another game that was brought to our attention on the um, Atari Flashback Portable. Uh, controller hacks needed thread. And they were saying, yeah, this was a homebrew game that would be great on the Atari Flashback Portable, and they were right. It was actually quite quite addictive. So, picture Rampart on the links where you have to grab pixels to make castles, and you have to do it in a hurry. But this is kind of the same, and you have to uh, pick up pixels in a certain pattern that they indicate at the top left. So let me show you how this works. All right, see where the arrow is pointing? All right, so we got to grab some pixels, blue pixels at that. And, and the screen's always moving, too. So that makes it also kind of challenging. Whoops, I have already messed up. So we got to take this pixel here and that pixel here and take that. Okay. That's just that's just goof. That's just all sorts of goof. But take that and that. All right. So when it scans through again, it recognizes it. Now you notice that the next one is blue pixels. And you've got to grab it a certain way too. So I guess the best thing to do is just pick it up. There we go. Yeah. And so on. And you got to do this eight times to get to the bonus round. So it is a fun little game. Here we go. Now, next time that scans through, you should get it. There we are. And then now we just need to do a straight line. Oops. Uh, oh, crap. Got it. Good. As you can see, it's a lot of fun. So, a very good suggestion. Love it, just love it. So let's see what we got here. And of course, they're gonna throw in pixels, but doesn't matter. All right, so we're on our way anyway. Not accident. There was uh, one on the board that was exactly the way we needed it. There we go. Next time it goes through. So while that's going on, you can actually just go through and uh, set the next one. Boom! Bonus mode. I've actually never made it this far. And what you do here is... Uh, I don't know. Okay, I got you. So we got a... There we go. Make squares or... Yeah, okay, that's what you do. And then you go on to the next level. So, <laughs> fantastic game. All right. So now we're going to show our uh, our actual 
the one I'm actually most excited about, believe it or not. Uh, this is um, Freeway. And I think I've covered everything else. So this is Freeway now. Our first two-player game. All right. Now, the uh, best way to do this, hang on one second. Let's see. Yeah, we can't see it at all, hardly. Basically, the, the positions are up here and right here. These are the two buttons for the second player. So they're going back and forth between actually these two buttons because that's pause. So here's the reset, here's start. So the second player is actually hitting those two buttons. So let's get a game started. And um, so here we go. I'm doing the second player and first player. <laughs> Of course, we haven't actually tried um, on the actual screen. That'd be a fun little video to do at some point. I might do that later on with my cell phone camera or something just to show how it looks. But as you can see, it's, uh, you know, you can move around up and down. The flicker isn't horrible. I mean, it's not any more than um, any other game that you would see on the Atari. You see this kind of stuff all the time. Very playable, a lot of fun, and again, the first actual two-player game on the Atari Flashback Portable. So, kind of neat. Uh, Nuki was saying that he was going to try to do something more with the flickers, so that's great, but um, if not, hey, this great game already works quite good. And I can't wait to play my wife at this, so I think that'll be a lot of fun. So anyway, that said, this uh, kind of concludes our sixth episode of uh, AFP GTG. And Hey, keep suggesting those games, um, either games you want to see to see how they, how they work or games that you think would be good on the Atari Flashback Portable, and uh, we'll, we'll feature them on this, uh, on this video. So with that, this is Dr. Glue signing off.